Election day. We are one week from election day. Isn't that wild? It's just seemed like it's been so far away and now boom, it's here. And we have not had a pollster on this show since forever because honestly, you can make a poll say whatever you want it to say, but polling trends do matter. You know, one poll is a snapshot and can be manipulated. Trends don't lie though. And so I thought we should have Eric Doherty on to talk about it. Joining me now, assistant news director for Florida's Voice. Okay, Eric, the polling trends. I'm in a bubble. To me, I sit back. It looks like Dome is failing. It looks like Trump is surging. But you are the one who studies data. I'm not near smart enough to do that. What do you see? Yeah, so, I mean, you're pretty much accurate when you say that Trump is uh, gaining. Um, how you want to define surge is really up to you. Uh, but what we've seen uh, and what my view has been is that Trump has had a narrow but steady lead as obviously since Biden has been in the race. And what happened was once Kamala got in the race, we saw a little bit of what's known as a sugar high. That's kind of the term that's been going around. And everyone thought that she surged ahead. Well, now uh, we're back to basically where Trump was against Biden. He's got kind of a narrow lead in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin and Michigan. Uh, his lead nationally is pretty much just a tie there. Right now he's up 0.1 in real clear politics. Uh, that's kind of just hovering around a toss-up. And then over in the Sun Belt, he's got a, a more durable lead in places like North Carolina, uh, Georgia, Nevada, and Arizona. Uh, so I think right now you definitely rather be Trump because we all know how, how these the end of these presidential campaigns go. You want to have the momentum. Uh, and right now Trump has the momentum. Eric, something I almost always ignore is the popular vote. The popular vote, that's something the dirty commies like to talk about because they actually want this country to be a democracy so they can win every election. But I keep seeing things that Trump is either in the lead or flirting with the popular vote. Now, to me, again, uneducated Jesse, that sounds like we might be looking at a blowout because Republicans don't win the popular vote. That's not even really possible. But am I interpreting that wrong? Uh, you're not. Uh, what's happening right now is Trump is indeed flirting with an outright lead in the popular vote. Um, right now, it's a total toss up. I think it's a 50 50 race here uh, for the popular vote. And you'd be correct in thinking that he could win in a landslide uh, because you go back to 2016. States like New Hampshire and Minnesota were about to flip red and Hillary Clinton won the popular vote by two points. So um, you would have to see a bit of a realignment happening for him to win the popular vote and not pick off a state, maybe a Virginia, Minnesota, or New Hampshire, uh, if he does win the popular vote. So it's very possible. It's definitely not out of the realm of, of possibilities. Whew. Okay, all right, let's, let's move on to early voting. The early voting numbers, they do tell a tale. Everyone knows Democrats win early voting. That's how it's always been for my entire 20 year career in politics. They win early voting, the GOP wins election day voting, and the GOP hopes it wins enough on election day to come back. So where are we looking? How are we looking on early voting? Yeah, so with early voting right now, we're, something really unprecedented is happening. You're right, Jesse. Democrats are, this is supposed to be their time. This is their part of the election, voting by mail, voting early. They're known for doing this, especially after COVID. We saw that in 2020, and we saw that in 2022. Right now, Republicans outright lead the early vote in North Carolina, in Nevada, and Arizona. Uh, those are the states we have party registration for. Over in Pennsylvania, which is obviously the big one, they don't have proper in-person voting there. Democrats do lead, but get this, they led by over 40 points uh, in 2020, and now they only lead by 29. I would thank you for coming to my YouTube channel, but I know how brilliant it is, and I know you love it here. So subscribe and watch. We're going to start really ramping things up and putting some funny stuff, some interesting stuff out there, some collaborations. Either way, my YouTube channel is officially the place to be. So stick around.